How is it that you came into your calling? Was it an accident? Was it born purely of talent? Do you believe you were fated to be what you are? It must be a fine thing to be sure of one's abilities. I envy you that. For most, the destination is never clear until they arrive. I myself started life as a slave in the southern deserts of Kalamshan. Never would I have foreseen that I might become who I am today. I knew of the lush and wild jungles of my homeland, Chult, only through the bedtime tales of my mother. I have never laid eyes upon its shore. My mother was owned by a most vicious and cruel caliph. As a slave child, one learns to stay out of sight and to move silently, lest one be beaten. Moreover, I learned to listen. I listened to the chatter of the servants, the bored talk of the guards. For many, many years, I was the shadow in the caliph's halls. For all my hiding, however, I proved of no use to anyone but myself. I could not save my mother, when the Caliph beat her to death for spilling a tankard of his mead, for instance. Aye, though in truth it was I who learned the lesson. I blamed myself for not warning my mother, for not stopping the Caliph's blow. In grief and anger, I stabbed and killed the Caliph and was subsequently chased into the streets of Kalimpur. I am not proud of what I did. It is very easy to say that the man deserved it. Deserved it more than my mother did, at the very least. Who am I to say that this is so, however? I was no righteous judge that day. I acted out of retribution and became a wanted murderer in truth. There is no denying that. I fled into the shadows of the city, and was not alone there. I found many who I will call allies and not friends, for we acted in unison only to survive. The law pursued me, so always I remained hidden and listened as I once had. The fact that I was a thief to remain alive did not help, and eventually even the shadows of the city were no longer safe for me. I sought passage out of the city, and eventually a captain took pity on me and gave me a position aboard his ship. Perhaps you have heard of Randall the Red? Aye, that he was. A pirate whose reputation along the Sword Coast was more than deserved. I joined his crew, though I was no pirate in truth. I was not fond of drink as the other sailors were and instead spent my time at each port making new contacts and listening. Over the years, Randall grew to depend on my skill. He gave me gold to establish informants throughout the coast, and I heard news the instant it happened. It was I who kept Randall safe and one step ahead of his pursuers, for always would I know before the chase was on us. I was not truly a pirate his master of spies, though I did not put a name to what I did. And while Randall was indeed a pirate, he was an easy man to like. I was not fond of the looting and pillaging Randall indulged in, and did my best to subtly steer him away from the worst of it. Randall knew what I was doing, and permitted it only because I was otherwise invaluable to him. He cared not if I cringed and turned a cheek when the crew plied the worst of their bloody trade. As the years passed, I came into a certain amount of my own fame along the Sword Coast. My life was my life, and I was satisfied with it, and discharged my duty as best I knew. It was not until I encountered Lord Nasher that my life would change forever. That, however, is another tale. Ask me of it sometime, my friend. And thank you for listening. As I said, it is not a tale I tell often. Back to more important matters.
Is there something you needed? I, I shall hope that the gods keep you safe, my friend. I am pleased to see that you remain safe, my friend. Lord Nasher tells me he is confident of your success, though I do worry at the danger in which you place yourself. Have you yet discovered any new information on the cult? I wish there were better leads we could send you on to track down the cult, but Eren's information is the best we have. All I can suggest is that you visit the locales Eren has mentioned and keep your ears open for unusual activities. Not everything that is unusual will be the doing of this cult, obviously, but they are out there and active, so there is always a good chance you will discover them if you are alert. I am pleased to see that you remain safe, my- Have you yet discovered any new information on the cult? Of course. Ask what you will of me. Dester appears to have been their link in Neverwinter, as you discovered. But of the cult itself, we have been able to ascertain little. Erin is positive that its true heart lies outside of Neverwinter, and that it has yet to show us the extent of its strength. The task ahead of us will no doubt be most dangerous, but that makes it all the more necessary that we do not remain ignorant of what this cult is and what it intends. The search does continue within the city. Indeed, Lord Nasher is having Neverwinter scoured thoroughly for more traces of the cult. It is his feeling, however, that the true force of the cult lies outside of Neverwinter, and that it is your efforts here that will prove the most valuable. Any information you discover should be brought to Eren and myself. Once we know more about the cult, Lord Nasher can decide what to do next. I am here to see that Lord Nash's commands are carried out, while Eren... Admittedly, my own role seems sparse. Part of me... Regardless, we will do all that we can to help you. Do not think your efforts go unrecognized. Certainly. Go with Tyr's blessing, then, and be safe. Hello there! Neverwinter. Oh, would you sign me napkin? It is a bit greasy. And, uh, mind the chicken. Greetings and well met. You are the one I heard of, aren't you? The one responsible for saving the city of Neverwinter. Your deeds have become something of a legend.
I know you. You are the one who emerged from the corpse-clogged streets of Neverwinter to save the city from the horrors of the Wailing Death. <laughs>